Hey everyone, when you're in the market to buy a new property, there's much more to consider than the interest rates on offer. We've invited along a professional in the industry with over 20 years experience. Paul Howe from Time Home Loans is going to give us an insight of things to consider before and when making your purchase. With uh, many products on offer through the banks these days, it can all be a little too much information when you're about to make a big decision. Would you mind sharing your thoughts on uh, choosing an independent broker? Well, I think choosing a broker essentially gives you choice. Um, there are many lenders out there in the marketplace and every lender has a different suite of product. What also choice creates is competition. And when you have competition between the lenders, obviously that creates an environment where you're more likely to get a more competitive product. Every uh, borrower has a different situation. Every borrower has a different set of circumstances and every lender has a different set of credit policies and so a good broker will fit your individual circumstances to a lender's credit policies to find the very best outcome for you. Paul, I'm talking to buyers every single day in the market and um, I've been in contact with a few recently who talked about purchasing through a self-managed super fund. Could you explain a couple of points of how that could be in, of an advantage to them? Well, a self-managed super fund is essentially people who've decided to take control of their own super. But by taking control of your own super, you would create a self-managed super fund and that gives you the ability to decide what your money in super is invested into. Currently, if you don't have one, it's invested in, in whatever the fund manager that you're a member of decides to invest it into. But by creating a self-managed super fund, you, in, you have an input into the choice. And one of those choices that you can make is to buy property. So just like if you were to buy property in your personal name, you can use the cash in your super fund as a deposit for the property. And just like if you were buying a property in your personal name, you can approach a lender to get a loan to top up the balance needed to purchase the property. So you're gonna have an asset, which presumably has a rental income, which you would have a loan against, which you can then use your super contributions to pay off. And the ultimate goal is going to be to have an income producing asset in retirement as part of your super fund. Fantastic. Look, Paul, thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate it. Greatly appreciate your time. You're welcome. Cheers.